But, but this, scholars, they, they debate. Did he write the whole letter or did he just write these last eight verses? People aren't sure. But if you're just coming into this letter, I want to encourage you. Paul wrote this letter. I believe he couldn't wait to write these things down. Because he started this church. This is one of his earliest letters. He saw these people come to faith in Jesus Christ. But they had taken a turn because of these Judaizers, these legalists. They were now taking them down this grave heretical path. You know, where they were teaching, they were preaching to these people a self-righteousness through works. A work-based righteousness, being right with God, rather than a Christ-given righteousness. See, Paul's message to the Galatians and to us here this morning was that Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid for all our sins on the cross of Calvary. See, they were being told that Jesus' sacrifice wasn't enough. That no, no, you, you still need to be, uh, uh, be circumcised. You need to be Judaized. You have to go through all the forms of worship. You have to go through all the ceremony and ritual cleansings. But Paul told you and I in chapter 1 verse 6 that that's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's not the message that God gave to Paul. In fact, you could read it, chapter 1, verse 12. He said, I received this message from Jesus himself. Paul calls it a different gospel. In fact, he called it a cursed gospel. This is not the gospel they received. This was not the gospel that he gave them originally. See, those, when they heard the message of Paul, you could read about it in Acts. It says that at that moment, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Do you remember when you received Christ at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away? It was there by faith I received my sight and, oh, I'm happy all the day. Do you remember that? I want to remind you, Paul wants to remind you of that place, that mercy, that power, that peace, that joy, that forgiveness that you felt. So, so there's some speculation. Did, did Paul write this whole letter or just these eight remaining verses? You know what I think? I think as he's coming to a close, which he normally did, he would write, handwrite his, his name. Paul's saying, listen, I got one more chance with this church. I got one more appeal to them. And I believe these eight verses here is his heart to us. And he wants you and I to get this. He wants us to understand that there is salvation in no other name but Jesus Christ. And it is by the wondrous cross, it's by that.